Hey, in this video, I want to show you how to force uh, DPF regen on these sprinters. This is a 2016 with a six cylinder, the 3.0, also known as the OM642 engine code. So, I'm going to show you how to uh, force DPN regen and also how to um, teach in the DPF filter. Like, if you replace it, you have to teach it uh, to the car so the car knows it's a new DPF filter. So, what you want to do is you want to go to um, on the scanner you go to maintenance okay and then go to dpf go to a look under mercedes or sometimes it might be under sprinter as its own make even though it's not a make and then do smart VIN or automatically detect the VIN you can do manual selection but then you have to go uh, select the chassis. In this case, it's a, a 906, it's a 2013 and up. Okay, so I go to control model, motor electronics. We need to turn on the ignition. And then here you have the option regen uh, DPF filter and regen DPF filter and standstill. Now, when you're running DPF regen, you have to be extremely careful though, because the, the DPF filter uh, will get to extremely high temperatures if you have like oil leaks over there on uh, the engine or the DPF filter, there's that risk of uh, getting, starting a fire, burning up the car. So you gotta be careful when you run DPF regen. But let's say do DPF, there's certain conditions that need to be met though. But they usually told you uh, you have it, the values here. So let's say uh, DPF uh, uh, weighting factor needs to be less than 130, and it's 82, and so on. Like all these values. Uh, do you want to start procedure? These steps that you have to follow here. So follow those um, instructions there, and some of them are just warning, letting you know that there's that risk of fire. So be careful when you run this. And um, the next step, it will uh, ask you to start it, and it'll show you all the live data. And uh, it'll, the test will can run about 45 minutes. You can um, cancel if you're doing at standstill. You can cancel the test um, by simply pressing the press the brake pedal. It will cancel the test. Um, if you're driving, you want to cancel the test. You have to like pull over and and um, uh, turn off the ignition. But in this case, it wants us to start and it needs the engine RPMs over 500, so we have to start the engine. And now it takes you to the next step and it shows you all the values. It says status of regen is not active yet, but once you start driving, that should eventually um, switch to active. And then you have vehicle speed, RPMs. Uh, you can see here you have some warnings and more. So you can also uh, cancel that from there switch off the ignition switch it back on just take it wait about 10 seconds before you switch it back on and then press ok the next thing i'm going to show you how to do uh, teaching a dpf filter diesel diesel particular filter if you have replaced it so again here it gives you the live values you want to press continue and it's saying engine speeds, engine needs to be off. Ignition on, and accelerator gas pedal not pressed, that's okay. And then it says the teaching process was successful and press okay, that's uh, how it is. it is to teach in our program that new DPF filter after you replace it. Um, and again, um, and then you you can have a few other options, but this is how you um, run DPF regen and or teach the new DPF filter to the vehicle. Now, if you um, have other issues, you probably need to um, after or after you complete this, I would recommend going back to diagnostics and then selecting your vehicle and then. Um, I would recommend running a quick scan 
go through all the control units on the car because you might have full codes that are old, they're stored. Um, it's normal for the ABS lights to, to turn on for a second once as the scanner is communicating and reading the codes from the ABS, but it turns off. That's why you have that beep there. But uh, once you do the DPF regen or DPN teaching, you should come in here, run a full scan, save the report, email it, whatever you need to do here at the bottom, and then hit erase. This will become available, hit erase all, it will erase all the codes. Uh, that is necessary, especially if you have a code on the cluster that says, uh, you know, remaining starts 10 or two or five, or, you know, only uh, add, add blue or only you know, errors like only 200 miles remaining or things of that nature. So once you fix the system, uh, it's important to come and clear the codes so you can reset that error message. But yeah, thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.